Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. The wages of sin is death, but the gift of God's eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, for I have believed on the Lord Jesus Christ. You're rejecting eternal life by saying no, and yet you are given the words of hope. You're hearing the words of hope, the blessed hope, the glorious appearing of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ. God says in Isaiah, Come now, let us reason together. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be white as snow. You are able now to have your name written down in the Lamb's Book of Life. You are able to be saved with the heart man believes on the righteousness. No, I can't jump. I'm excited about Jesus. I'm more excited about Jesus and preaching Jesus. When you tell me to shut up, I speak even louder about Jesus and Jesus' saving power. There's nothing better but to believe on Jesus Christ to be saved. Jesus Christ, a name worthy. There is no other name given to us men whereby you must be saved. Aren't you glad that you lifted up my heart to praise Jesus and only Jesus? There's a name that you need to know that will get you to God the Father. And it's not Harley Davidson, it's the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, look at that. Taste. Booze! No, it's not booze. It's maple syrup. Are you doing maple syrup by that biker's face? Yeah. For with the heart man believes unto righteousness. Righteousness can only be acquired by God, by Jesus Christ himself. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. The Bible speaks about a hell. Hell is real. We're here that you may not go to hell, that you may know that the righteousness of Jesus Christ can be applied to your life, to your sins, and be washed. Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for I have believed on Jesus Christ, the Son of God, who is God. There is no other, no other hope, but the blessed hope. It is free. It costs nothing. And yet it costs torments and troubles and trials and anguish for God's Son. God's Son was whipped. He was beaten. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was laid upon him. He suffered and died. The Bible says that the gospel is that he suffered and died according to the scriptures. According to the scriptures. It was foretold, it was written before what Christ must suffer for us. It was written and so, told before that we need a savior, that we are unable to save ourselves. The Bible says, there is none that doeth good. There is none righteous. No, not one. The Bible says that if a man says in his heart that there is no God, he's a fool. Foolishness. Abound in atheism. How you doing? Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. One moment when you take that last breath and you step off eternity, the Bible speaks about an afterlife. Two of them. And only two. There's heaven by Jesus Christ and hell. Anything else. And when Jesus says, I'm the way, there is no other way. When Jesus says he's the truth, there's lies. And he's the life, life, eternal life. 
Hell's not the place to spend your eternal life in. It's misery. It's funny. Enemies of God. You pay for your own sins in hell. You will burn in hell and yet in heaven. Heaven, new body. No pain, no suffering, no sorrow, no sin. A brand new body that will never suffer by the righteousness finished work of Jesus Christ. You can't do nothing. The Bible says there is none that doeth good, no, not one. Hearken unto the word of God. Because death is coming, it may come today. It may be today. We don't know when death comes, that's why we preach the gospel. Bible says go in all the world and preach the gospel. You may say, well, I'm good enough. The Bible says, no, there is none that doeth good. None that are righteous. There is none that seek after God. Oh, you may say, well, I'm a Christian. Do you know what a Christian is? Do you know the biblical definition of a Christian? It's not that you're good. It's not that you eat God. It's not that you believe in a religion. It is the sole priorship, the sole merit of the finished work of Jesus Christ. Anybody can say they're a Christian. But only few will go through the, the straight gate. And many go through the broad way. Are you a Bible-believing Christian? Have you been newly born, born again? Rachel, wait. Bikers need Jesus too, everybody. The Bible says go in all the world and preach the gospel. We're all sinners, for all have sinned. All have come short the glory of God. Isn't it wonderful that God came down from heaven and suffered and died that we may have eternal life, that we may live for earth. Don't block out the words of the, of the word of God. Don't block out Jesus. He's your only hope. He's your only salvation. There is no other way whereby you can be saved except by the finished work, the blood of Jesus Christ, finished upon Calvary's cross. That little baby grew up and died on the cross. That man on the cross is God. That man on the cross is Jesus. And Acts 20:28 20, says that that blood is God's blood, spilt out, slain out, beaten out for our sins, for our iniquities. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. There is nothing better but the gospel. There is nothing better than hear about Jesus and only Jesus. Jesus saved. Jesus is free. It costs nothing at all to believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. Salvation wrought by God, by God, forever by God. Nothing else can do. Nothing else can save you. There is nothing else but the blood, the finished work of Jesus Christ. When the Bible says you're not righteous, there is none righteous. No, not one. Then you come short. When the Bible says there is none that doeth good. There is none that doeth good. There is none that seeketh after God. Then guess what? You're not good enough. You'll end up in the flames of hell for all eternity, burning, and alcohol burns, so there's no party. It's a place of darkness. You won't see your friends. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes on him, whosoever, that's you, that's me, April 21st, 1987, I received Christ as my Savior. My name is written down in heaven. Reservation has been made by Jesus Christ. Only by Jesus. And there is no other. Do you want hope? 
you're not going to get hope in this world. Hope comes through God. It comes through the Holy Spirit. It comes by the finished work of Jesus Christ. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Imagine the love of God that He sent His Son. The love of God that Jesus Christ was beaten, tortured for our iniquities, the Bible says. The finished work of Jesus been prophesied. All the prophecies about Jesus' first coming has been fulfilled 100%. And there are yet prophecies more to be fulfilled. An important prophecy is that. If you're to die without Jesus Christ, you will burn in hell in the lake of fire. That's a prophecy. If you're to believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, you will get eternal life, eternal joy forever to be with God, your Creator. And God created you. You're not here by an accident. When you're here by a Creator, and when that Creator sees our condition, and He spreads His love through the Gospel, that Jesus Christ suffered and died and was buried for our sin. That's right. And when you reject that, when you reject that, God will reject you. Imagine. Come on, bikers. How many of you guys ever said go to hell? But can you imagine God telling you to go to hell? Can you imagine God Almighty casting you off into hell forever because you will not believe on the Son? Speak on the phone, speak to the people that Jesus saves. Jesus who is God. God who is Jesus. Forever written down and settled. Friend, religion can't do it because Jesus said, I am the way and Jesus is not religion. Jesus is the truth. He is the life. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow those who have believed on Jesus. Peace and safety and love. The God is Jesus Christ. There is nothing other for you to believe but Jesus Christ. All right, let's turn around. Now we'll just go right back. Let hear it again. We will meet new people going this way. Are you washed in the blood? You know, motorcycles, they're prone to accidents. That little helmet is not going to protect you. But the protection of Jesus Christ is sure and forever. That helmet will help you out. But the salvation grace of Jesus will take care of you for all eternity. It works for all deaths. For the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God's eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. And while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Christ will take you as you are. The sinner that you are. And I'm not talking about, you know, big, big sins, just a lie. You want me to preach about adultery, let's talk about a lie. A lie is a sin. Stealing is a sin. All have sinned. All have come short of the glory of God. You know what Adam and Eve did? They stole the fruit. God said, Thou shalt not eat of that fruit, and they took it. They stole it. If there is two sins that man created in his internal life, is he is a liar, and he steals. You start off as a young child, you stole that cookie, and then you lie about that cookie. That's sin. That's sin that if you have not believed in the Lord Jesus Christ, has not been washed. And then we can build upon those sins. But lying and stealing is the foundation of man's sins. We are all sinners. And because of our sins, the Bible says the wages of sin is death. The wages. Do you work for a living? Do you get a paycheck? 
You expect a paycheck from your employer? And yet the Bible says the wages of sin. You will be paid for the sins that you do, and that's death. Whatever, however you die, it's because you're a sinner. And here, we're all sinners. But do you realize there's only one sin that will put you in hell? That one sin is to reject Jesus Christ as your Savior. That one sin, not believing on the Lord Jesus Christ. You'll be damned forever for not believing on God's Son. You'll be forever condemned to the lake of fire for not coming to Calvary and dropping on your knees. With the heart, man believes unto righteousness. With the mouth, confession is made unto salvation. The Bible says you must be born again. And yet God's giving you a free will. We come up and down preaching the gospel and handing you gospel tracts. You cannot stand before God and say, I never knew. You cannot say to God today, I don't know. Because God will say, hey, I sent that preacher loudmouth. <laughs> that preacher whose voice is over the, mo the motorcycles. <laughs> he can preach louder than your mufflers. And he's preaching Jesus saves. And yet, you walk on by. You will not adhere to the word of God and it's not over. And even if you think, oh, death, that's it, it's gone. It's not over even when you die. You will face the consequences. When we die in the Lord, we still are sinners. We're still going to lose out. Ashes, wood, hay, and stubble. We never do what we're supposed to as saved. And if you choose to reject Jesus Christ, the torments of hell forever, and hell is forever, you may have that bartender in hell, but he ain't going to deliver you drinks. There is no alcohol, no water in hell. There is nothing more for you to do to get to heaven except believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. You're not good enough. The Bible says there is none that doeth good. There is none righteous. No, not one. So, forget about you getting to heaven on you when it rests upon the Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. When it rests upon Jesus Christ and only Jesus Christ. Now, I'm not preaching a church. I'm not preaching baptism. I'm preaching about the saving grace of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ who suffered and died that you may have eternal life. Jesus Christ, the only one that is able to wash away your sins. You've got a condition. It's called sin. Your sin is like a cancer. It will kill you. Wages of sin is death. And a doctor cannot remove that sin. That doctor cannot take away that cancer called sin. Only by the blood of Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world. That cancer called sin is going to kill you. And yet Jesus Christ can set you free from that cancer. Jesus Christ can set you free from your sin. For all have sinned. All have come short of glory to God. There is none righteous. No, not one. You want the love of God? The love of God is that He suffered and died on the cross for you. All of you. Whosoever believes on Him. Everyone at the earshot of this preaching. And those that even cannot hear this preaching. Christ died for your sins. God's not willing that any should perish. There is one mediator between God and man, and that's the man Christ Jesus.
would be a shame in this world to be fattened and drunken and get all that you want and die without Christ. It would be a shame to wake up and find out that whatever you believe is not what was to be believed. And that what you're to believe in your heart is Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone forever. Helmets may help you in an accident, but Jesus Christ will save you from your death, from your sins. The Bible says if you're to die in Christ, you'll be absent from the body and present with the Lord. And yet without Christ, you'll wake up in a place called hell to burn forever. Only reason why men go to hell is because they reject Jesus Christ. We're all sinners. We've all lied. We've all stolen something. Run back to your childhood. That cookie that you sold and lied to your mom about, that's a sin. It's a sin. And if it's not under the blood of Jesus Christ, imagine a cookie that you stole from your mom. If it's not under the blood of Jesus Christ, that cookie being a sinner would be marked you into heaven forever. That cookie that made you a liar, that made you a sinner, will cast you off into hell forever. And your biscuits will never be burnt. You'll be burning and burning for all eternity. You'll be suffering, pain, imagine, imagine stepping into a fire and you can never come out because you want to be so hard, you want to be so prideful, you're the man. And you're not going to trust in the man, Christ Jesus. You're going to take your life and you're going to say, I hope the Bible's wrong. And when you find out that the Bible is right, it's too late. And there is no time in hell. You won't come out of hell. You'll be in that place forever, and you don't need to be. You can escape today hell by believing on the Lord Jesus Christ. We've got enough information in our hands to show you what you must do to be saved. These gospel tracts we're passing out to you is the way to God. It's the way through Jesus Christ. It's plain and simple. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. It's a free salvation by God, the Almighty God. And when God gives you something, it stays. Once you're saved, you're always saved. I don't know what you bikers fe fear, if there's any fear. But I'm telling you now, fear God. Fear Him that's able to kill the body and the soul by the Lord Jesus Christ's words. There's one thing. For the Word of God. Did you hear that? They're selling honey for Christian ministries and not the Word of God. There's nothing as sure, more than sure, than that Jesus saves. Written by the Scriptures. Jesus Christ and thou shall be saved forever and ever. Rest assured. Thank you.
Rest assured that you can put your soul upon Jesus Christ. Rest assured by the finished work of Jesus Christ, you can get your destination when you die settled and assured. But rest assured also that the Bible does speak about it, an afterlife. There's an afterlife called heaven or hell. Heaven by Jesus Christ and only Jesus Christ. Hell. Do whatever you want. Do whatever you want and you can go to hell. But if you want to get to heaven, to glory, you want a new body without sin, without pain, without misery, no more tears, that comes by Jesus Christ. And you cannot appear to God as a sinner. For God says, be ye holy. For I am holy. That's God, not me. And when the Bible says all have sinned, when the Bible says there is none righteous, when the Bible proclaims all oh, there is none that do it good, you cannot rest assured that you are going to heaven by what you do, what you cannot do. Oh, for Lent, I'm going to give this up. For Lent, I'm not going to do this. What's that care to God? What does God care about you giving up chocolate? What's God care about you going to give up a cigarette? What's God care when he sent his only begotten son to suffer and to be beaten, to be brutally treated? That what you give up is going to appeal to God. When the Bible says there is none that doeth good, there is none that seek after God, for all are unrighteous. And yet if you're to put your faith and trust in Jesus, the finished work, settled, upon Jesus and Jesus alone.